What up? It's your motherfucking boy, SBE. Look, bro. Don't ever de depress me like that again, bro. I was so depressed, bro. Like, I look, bro, I was on my other channel. Like, like I made another channel. I'm not going to tell y'all because it's not like a real channel. It's just like a channel for me or whatever. So, I go on that channel because I'm off for God. I accidentally changed something. So, I go back and then I saw, like, I was scroll down and I saw something recent. So, I search on my name and I look at the subscribers. That's just at 205, bro. 205. I was named this. Thank you, lady. And I was like, ooh, ooh. And then I go and do something because, like, my channel, you know that the background, you see it's a background picture of me like this. I, like, it was like a long time ago. I took it when I first started, like, kind of when I first started YouTube. But anyway, so. After it didn't work, I was trying to change it, it didn't work. I said, bro, fuck it. Went down. And I was like, alright, bro. I went back to my channel. I looked at that shit. That shit said 197, bro. Subscribers. Bro, I had got so mad, bro. Like, bro, I was up here and I came down there, bro. I was gonna play some Juice World, bro. I got so depressed, bro. I put on my story on my Snapchat and Instagram in the description, by the way. I went in there. I was like, bro, come on, bro. Y'all really gonna do me like this? Like, I just had 205. I went down to 197, bro. Then... Um, my homie Quentin Lifestyle's sister, my homie Quentin Lifestyle's his sister, he, she, I sent it to everybody on my Instagram, so, she was like, what you mean, and she sent me a screenshot that said 200, I said, oh, let me go back, so I was like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, and I woke up this morning, hoping that I had, still had 200 subscribers, woke up, and I had 202, bro, we getting up there, bro, we doing it, bro, let's get it, let's get it, but anyway, let me get to this video, um, this video is going to be a Q&A because on my Instagram and my Snapchat story, in the description below, I asked people to ask me questions for a Q&A, and I got 17,000 questions, bro. So, we're going to get into this video, bro. Let's get it. Are y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Let's, before we get into this. Make sure you leave a like, bro. Subscribe if you haven't. We got to get, we on the road to 300 now, bro. We ain't even that close, but we on the road to it, bro. We getting up there. We getting up there, bro. Let's do it. Is y'all ready? Is y'all ready? Like, comment, and go in the description for my Instagram and my Snapchat. Let's get it. So this first question is from my homie, Quentin Lifestyle. He asked me what my favorite colors were. My favorite colors are black. I mean, black and black color. My favorite color is red. You see that. My room is kind of red, so that's my favorite color. Um, and he also asks, who was my favorite YouTuber slash rapper? My YouTuber, I really don't have a favorite. Like, I watch, like, I love watching YouTube. Like, I love it. And I really don't pick favorites on the YouTubers I watch. But my favorite rapper is Juice World, and I ain't no bandwagon. Since 2018, you can play any song, and I know all the lyrics and the name of it, boy. For real. Um, he asks, how old am I? I am 13. Um, April 19, 2006. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, you know what I'm saying? I was hustling. And my friend, my sister, Isabella, uh, she asked me, where did I grow up? I grew, I was born in Indiana, but, like, at, like, five, we moved down to Georgia. So, yeah, that's, we moved down to Atlanta, we went down to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? To Atlanta. Uh, my homie Tay said, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I really don't think about it at this age. I mean, like, I'm kind of like a 13-year-old. I really don't think about it as much as I should be. But, like, I'm really focused on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? School, you know what I'm saying? Fucking just grinding and getting my way out of here, bro. And I also focus on my green, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's another question that says, by my girl Nakaya, yes sir, Nakaya, yes sir. Um, she asked me, whoa, bro, y'all ready for this? She asked me, when was your first kiss? My first kiss, I remember it like it was yesterday. My first kiss was March 1st, 2017. Look, okay, so I'm going to tell you the story, but I'm going to keep her anonymous because I don't know if she, like, really want me to say her name. But so, and I'm going to keep the dude that was with us anonymous, too. So, let's call him Pete. Pete and 
Tina. So look, so me, Pete, and Tina, you know what I'm saying, we was at his house, just chilling and shit, and we low-key, me and her low-key like each other, so it's my first makeout too. So I told him, I said, bro, you gotta like, at least make me get my first kiss in or something. He's like, bet. So we was talking, he was like, bro, I know y'all wanna kiss, blah, blah, blah. I was like, shit, fuck it. Then he was like, we couldn't do it there because, like, his grandma and them was in the house and shit. Like, we was in the back. Like, we was in the little pet patio area. His grandma and his mom and his brother and his sister was in the house. So he was like, bro, come here. I got somewhere to go. Boom. He was walking down, walked down the street, and then there was this little gate that was open where woods were. He said, fuck it. We climbed in that bit, and then we sat on a little log. We was looking at each other. He was like, y'all better kiss right now. I'm in that bitch like... Like my heart, like doo -doo -doo -doo, like running the track, me like doo -doo -doo, like going stupid. So I'm like fuck, and I'm just like I was nervous. I said fuck it, went up, and I was like nah, I can't do it. Cause in my head I was like, what if I do this shit wrong, bro? Like what if my breath stink or something? Like bro, that'd be the worst. Like no cap. So I was like fuck, fuck, fuck. What what I gotta do? What I gotta do? I said fuck it. We both I mean, then going stupid, and she had to start. I didn't even. That, I thought that shit was nasty to me. She just started putting her tongue in my mouth, and that shit was just like, <laughs> at the time, but now I don't care about it, because, like, you know what I'm saying? I kind of, like, like kissing, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that's my first kiss. Thank you. Anyway, um, by my homie Quentin, lifestyle sister, Marvelous, she said, how, are, how old were you when you started YouTube? I started YouTube, it was, uh, um, I was nine, I was nine when I started, I was, nah, fuck no, I was like ten, I was ten when I started this channel, I was ten when I, st no, I was nine, yeah, I was nine when I started this channel, yeah, yeah, I was nine. I think I was nine. I was either nine or ten, and I started this channel. Cause yeah, no, I was ten. I was exactly ten. I remember I was I was exactly ten. Okay, so I was ten years old when I started SB. No, at first I was Dula Dual, and then because people used to call me Dula, and my auntie and them used to call me Dula and shit. Like people like my homies would call me Dula or something. They don't call me Dula. I ain't gonna tell you what they call me, but um. <clears throat> They called me that, blah, blah, blah. I was like, let me think. Do it, do it. It's going to be hard. And at first, I was like, fuck this shit. That's when SBB Lil Duel came on. I was like, ooh, that's better. I made a YouTube video about it. Like, hey, look, my name not Do it, do it no more. My name SBB Lil Duel. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. And, yeah, that's how I started. And I remember when I had zero subscribers, and now we at 203. You know what I'm saying? Came a long way, bro. And she also asked, what made you start YouTube? Bro, I feel like YouTube is fun. As, like, me, as a young age, seeing other YouTubers have fun doing this shit. Like, bro, I'm like, damn, I want to have fun, too. You know what I'm saying? And I had to go break. Like, I be taking break. Like, I don't be grinding. Like, I've been on this shit for, like, almost four years. And I haven't been, like, grinding. Almost five years. And I haven't been, like, what I mean grinding is, like, making YouTube videos. And I'm starting to do that shit now. Like, y'all see. But at first, like... Before my first reaction I just made like like two weeks ago like before that I haven't like Fucking posted in like fucking four months and before that I didn't post it in like six months Like I need to stop doing that. That's why I'm coming back with heat fire heat fire. You know what I'm saying we in there And I know y'all thinking about music too. music. I, I Sometimes I feel like I can't rap. That's why I don't like make music like that and I'm just trying to learn how to get better with it so yeah, that's the only reason why I don't, I make music, but I don't, like, post them. I, I put little snippets on them on my Snapchat. You know, my Snapchat is down here, and, like, yeah. From my homie Gabe, he says, what rapper inspired you to start rapping? Um, I feel like all the, all the rappers I used to listen to, like, as a young age, like, when my mom used to turn on, but I used to look, like, I have, like, I feel like, I have this side that's like that heartbreak side, and I got that one side that's like, dun dun dun, like that hard side. So like, it's just like, it's basically like you, like you can tell the difference between like something like fuck. Um, 
you can tell the difference between someone like fucking hate me and fucking something to, like a song I made depressing or something like kind of like sad or like dark love dark love man this shit is dark love I find the thing you brought my heart just for fun me versus love kind of tough because love one that's that one you can tell the difference because I feel like I feel like it's just like the, the depressing side or the heartbreak side is like Juice World and the X in them and the other ones is like like the other side is like fucking Emil Young Boy and Ali Chopper like all them all them hard rappers that's it that's how I feel yeah the end what really inspired me the most was Juice World though and when he died bro it was just like so like tough cause like it's like it's like imagine that being like your uncle or something and it's like it's crazy cause like I've been a fan since to him since like 2018 like back in the day like re remember when i made that that skit that was like the black people versus white people skit i was a fan like by at that time like i was a real fan of him and it's crazy that he died man I, young people die so fast and like why that's why i'm staying here boy i'm not leaving it, this next one by my homie gabe says he says um if you could collab with one rapper what who would it be not what who would it be He master slump god cuz me and him is like i feel like we like twins because like it's not even that like my birthday is like a day after his like he he's born on april 18th my birthday is april 19th and i feel like we just we goofy with it like we both like like if i wanted a goofy rap i would but like we both like go you can tell in some songs you like foot fungus he was like um Dripping like I did take a shit in clock toilet. You can tell that he like goofy with it, and I'm that's how I am. Like, like when I goofy freestyle, bro, like I'm a whole different person. And I feel like we like twins, and our birthday is like one day apart, so that'd be hard. Like if I was famous, like famous, famous, and like we were like, we'd be like like homies, like we'd be like this. Like I'm not saying like how him and X was or him and Juice World was. I say we'd be close, close, like like close. Like he'd be, I'd be like a little brother to him or something like that. Or I'd be like a son to him or something like that. But like, mm. what's your favorite song you made? My favorite song I made used to be Struggle, but now it's Hate Me. Because Hate Me, I went so reckless on that song for no re no for a reason. Because I remember, let me let me tell you a little backstory. I, it was either like, I don't know, I don't remember. But we had, this is at called House Party. And I was calling my homie Jackson. And people can join anytime they want. So it's like a group FaceTime type shit. So I was on the phone with him. He was just talking. And then he was, I was playing his song, blah, blah, blah. And then I paused, because somebody joined, I paused it. His name was like Black Air Force Ones or something. I had paused it. And then he was like, he said, Jackson, what I tell you about talking to trash rappers? I'm like, I may hate me. I said, these pussy niggas must hate me. Bad bitch at the back is what a they be. Girl, go check that shit out. That song is really hard. That's my favorite song ever that I ever made. Because I can tell, like, some of my songs, I don't use a lot of energy. And that's the one I need to stop at. Like, like at Struggle Part 2, I was like, I'm getting lazy. It's going to get you. And then, um, and hate me. I'm like, these pussy niggas. Like, I'm grooving with it. But the other songs, I'm not. And I need to stop doing that. I need to groove with all my songs and feel all my songs and stuff. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Whew, I think I can't breathe. Um, and the last question of the day, of the day, is by my homie Gabriel. He asked, he says, um, what's upcoming for you and your music career? Like, he's like, what's coming up for me? Fuck. Oh, no. Let me pause. Let me pause. Let me pause. He said, what's coming up for your, for you and your music career? Okay, what else, what's coming up for me in my music career, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I just need to make more, and I can't think about the, the bullshit that people be talking, and uh, he says, um, like, any new mixtape slash albums you dropping? Um, I was planning on dropping an album called Sad Boy, and it was gonna be like an album of me, like, I don't know, just talking my shit about heartbreak and shit. And I was gonna make one called Dealing with the Devil. It's like if you think, okay, I don't know, like, like sometimes I can act like that, sometimes I can be like that, but I don't want people to think that I'm emo after hearing that, cause like the way it is, like okay, so you know how Seven Deadly Sins, 
seven the fuck I'm doing it seven daily, daily sins and I was gonna put make seven songs with seven X's I was gonna do some shit like that but like I don't know it was gonna be something hard and then I don't know I just gave up on it but I, I can't do that I'm gonna go back at it you know what I'm saying but I gotta text my plug about it like this girl me and I used to work together. We used to um make shit like she used to make my album covers and shit. Like she made Unstoppable, but I, I made As We Be Lil Do versus Love. But she made Unstoppable and shit. So I'm like, and she made Hella More. That shit like, uh, she made one called Life or Death. Like I can't tell you all that because that shit I can't tell you all that. You, you know what I'm saying? That's it's kind of personal one, I guess. And so we go. I hope you guys love this video, bro. Make sure you leave a like, bro. Don't call me trash because I'm a beat your ass. Oh, bars. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, make sure you leave a like, bro. Hope you guys love this video. And um, go check out all my social media. I only do Snapchat and Instagram because I don't be on none of that fuck shit. Um, make sure you subscribe, bro. We're trying to get to 300. Trying to at least like 250 or something. Like, we just trying to get up there. You know what I'm saying? Um, make sure you like the video. And comment if it was fire or not. And... No, don't, not, 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 don't say it, it, it was a fire, don't do that shit, because I'm, I'm gonna fight you, and, you know what I'm saying, don't click that dislike, because dislikes is gonna get your ass beat too, you know what I'm saying, but like, yeah, I hope you guys love this video, bro, and I'll see y'all probably next Saturday, because, I mean, it's Friday for me, but for y'all, it's gonna be Saturday, because editing is hard, <laughs> I hope you guys love this video, I love y'all, I'm out, skirt.